Welcome back. Today we're going to be making a carbon fiber minimalistic wallet. Let's get started. A while back I made the beginner's guide to composites, which if you're not familiar with that, check it out. There's a link in the description below. It's absolutely free. Great way to get started in composites if you're just starting out and don't know what everything is. At the end of that course, I walked through making a minimalistic carbon fiber wallet, just like this one right here. In fact, this is the one that we made in that video. Well, my father-in-law's birthday is coming up and I wanted to make him something like this, but even a little bit nicer. I want to take it up a notch to give him as a gift for his birthday. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, for starters, we're going to, instead of doing the carbon fiber as a wet contact layup, we're going to do a vacuum infusion. In fact, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try using an infusion with two plates of, of acrylic, one on the top, one on the bottom. That's going to make a nice shiny, glossy surface on both sides of the carbon. We'll see how it goes. I've never done that before. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to do some leather work. I've never done leather work before, so that's going to be a completely new experience for me. Most of you in the comments are probably going to be telling me how wrong I am. That's okay. Go ahead and tell me. But uh, I think that's everything, so let's get started setting up for our, our infusion. Okay, so there's a couple things we're going to have to do a little differently than your normal infusion in order to do it this way. Normally, you'd have your infusion mesh on the top, and you're going to have a rough surface because of the infusion mesh and your peel ply. Uh, we can't have the infusion mesh in there to help be that flow media for the epoxy to flow through the layup. We're going to have to just rely on the epoxy flowing through without it. So what we need to do is we need some way to introduce the epoxy into it and then out the other side. The flow media, we're going to use it for that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to just put it on the edges with the spiral tube in the middle of it and have that go across. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it, and I think it will. So let's get going. Alright, so we've got the entire thing built, everything's under vacuum. We did a quick 5 minute test, uh, normally you'd go 15, but it has not budged at all. So I think we're solid here. Um, we're looking for, for solid zero leak. For infusion you want zero leaks at all. Uh, so we're ready to go, so I think it's time to mix epoxy. So let's get sticky. Do 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 don't demonetize me for singing that. It's probably way more epoxy than we need. Oh, that's way more epoxy than we need. Holy cow. Holy cow, that is so much epoxy. Why did I mix that much? That was cool. <laughs> That went so fast right up until it hit the carbon. Mm -hmm. Are you glad they that mix epoxy now? I am I'm almost starting to wonder if I mixed enough. I'm a little bit worried about how it's creeping in on these edges. Mm -hmm. That could seal itself off and then we're hosed. Oh, this is getting pretty darn close. We'll see, it might still close off. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to make it. I still can't believe I used that whole cup. Yep. 
goes that. All right, so we have finished the infusion. Uh, I thought I was going to have way too much epoxy. Turns out I didn't. I almost ran out. We got this one little spot over here. You want to zoom in on this. Got this one little spot over here where it's like, I don't quite want to make it all the way across. There's a little bubble right there. I think we're going to be okay. It's still closing off. It's good enough. We have enough to make, a, I think we have enough to make two wallets if we're, if we're good. So we got plenty of scrap if we need. And uh, I think we're going to call it a night. So let's see you tomorrow. All right, welcome back. It is the next day. Actually, it's a couple days later and uh, we're ready to crack this thing open. We headed into a few little snags, um, a few things that we were a little worried about, but it, it seems to have worked out okay. Let's crack it open and see how it turned out. All right, we got her all cut out, all demolded. Um, it's not too bad. Surface finish is not perfect. Um, might be able to polish that up just a little bit. Um, we'll see about that. But we're going to get it trimmed and cut out some plates. And, uh, and then we get to do some leather work, which is going to be a new thing for me. This should be fun. Let's go. Now we get to the part of the project that I am not comfortable with. I've never worked with leather before, but I wanted to have some leather for that trim to just make it look a little bit more premium. So, so those of you who have experience in the, with leather, let me know in the comments how big of an idiot I am, but we're going to try and do some leather work to make this thing just look really, really slick. Let's see how it goes. This is so freaking tedious. Like, people who do leather work, they need a raise. I don't know when we're gonna get through this.
that turned out not too shabby. It's not perfect. There are a few flaws here and there, but uh, uh, honestly, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. Again, if you want the beginner's guide to composites, check it out in the li uh, link in the description. It's absolutely free. Go check that out if you're interested, and I will see you on the next one.